Oh, lovely timing. That was looking up at the camera. Hey, so this is little Ollie. She's a female. She's about 14 years old. She's a little teeny weeny, aren't you, baby? Hey, she's tiny. She really is. So she's coming today, she's got a few mats which we can get rid of with just the combing and what we've started on, well she was lying nicely, we've got a few out with the comb and then I thought while she was sitting so nicely like this, I've been to the back end here because this is where she was, there's still a couple of little ones there to try and get out. So I've had to take two clips two lots of shaves off of here, which is where she was badly matted. There's no way they'd have come out with the comb. So I've took those away with the clippers. She's got the odd little one still here. Um, so I'm just gonna check around. She's got a couple more here, which I should just be able to nip out without me doing a full strip on her. And in fact, some of these might come out with the comb, with just the teasing, but we'll see in a See you in a minute. So she's been a good girly in the car, mum and dad said. You, hey. So I'm just going down this back strip at the moment. Just to get the last of the debris away. She's having a little growl every now and again. Aren't you, hey? But you see that back bit now, that's nice. So I've said to mum and dad, as long as you're not bothered what she looks like with having sort of these two bald strips, I will just do what is necessary to get these mats removed rather than making her look, uh, you know, so the whole coat is off. So she, to my eye, as a groomer's eye, she looks lovely um, because she doesn't need it on the top here at all. And then all we've got to concentrate is these bits to grow back up. We are, hey, which won't take long. And then it'll be a case of <gasps> mum and dad. I know you are green. It'll be a case of mum and dad just giving her a little comb over there just to keep on top of the comb for her. You look sweet, see, aren't you? Hey. So this one is almost gone from the side here, just with the comb. Just, just a little one there hiding somewhere. Ooh. There it is. Good girl. So we tease that open with fingers first and then go in with the comb. And there it is. Out. Tease that one. That one's loose already. Yeah, yeah girly whirly. Yeah. I know. So with the elderly ones, do let them move around a little bit so they can um, reposition themselves. You're not going to go leaping off this table though, are you? Hmm? <laughs> hey? Is that nice? Oh, we like this bit, don't they all? Under the chin? Yes. Under the chin, there's no mats there, you see, is there? Okay. So, right, let's just carry on with this little bit down here. There's a big lump here right on the tail. I'm just going to take that little bit off there. There you go, that's gone. Good girly. Oh, what a good girl. That's nice, isn't it? Nice and relaxed. What a good girl. So we're just going to go in gently here. Because I know there's a couple of little ones still here. But if I can get them with the comb, it'll save me shaving her. It'd be easier to shave her, but, um, you know, Ooh. why if we can get them out with the comb? And they are, they're coming out there, look. They're coming out, madam, aren't they? I mean, if it was too much for her to tolerate, then I would just clip them off. But she's very calm, mm. aren't you? Mm. Lots of little ones. 
isn't there? Ooh. We're having a little grumble. Wow. Yeah, we're having a little grumble, but nothing major. with that bit no more there on that side she's clear mm, yes just one little one there right on the back so again mm. I'm gonna try and part it with my fingers first It's gone. It's gone. Good girl. <laughs> You're going to settle down. Let me do the other side. Good girl. I have had a quick look at her claws um, and they're very, very long. So I'm going to have to have a good look at them when I come to do them. But first look, they're right the way round and under her paws and even in. Hence why I've not done that job first because um, when I cut the claws, there might be some blood from the pads as we pull out from the pads. So I'm just concentrating on the coat first. Get a comfy with the coat, and then I'll do the, uh, the claws, last of all. Oh, you're a good girl. So I've, I've done the groom with little Ollie here. We clipped away what needed to come away, giving her a brush through elsewhere. Very, very calm. But what I've just done for this bit now, Steve just comes up a little bit. I've just put a collar on her just because I'm doing these claws and the claws are stuck in her feet. And um, of course, I don't want her to try and bite. So I've put the collar on. She's dead relaxed about it. We've took one away, haven't we? So we've got one bleeding paw already here where you can see how long these claws have been but we've got one here where the it was see the pad nasty it's actually split the pad in half with the claw so i'm just going to do the rest and then I've, I've got to there i've got another one here that looks like it's in the pad as well so you get advised to take them out the vet has told me to just get these yeah. out and let the pads what a good girl. Let the pads bleed and then we treat them because it's only what the vet would do at home um, or where if you took them to the vets. My vet comes to your home, that's why I say at home. Uh, just going to trim that a little bit. You are being an absolute star. How many were in a pad? There was two one. there two, yeah. out of the five. So I'm going I'm to stop now and get this sorted. For what a little star you are, baby. So we've just got some hibby scrub onto a cotton wool pad. And I'm just going to pop it topsy down onto that. Oh, she says, what's that? What's that? Hey. I see the blood coming off. No, nice. So it's got to bleed out, has it? Now? Yeah, the vet says let it bleed. Yeah. Um, let it bleed, eh? Hey? That would have hurt her all that oh, time. Oh yes, it'd have been. Every time she walked, that would have been cutting into that little paw pad. Yeah. Over and over again. So it's important to get the, the claws cut quite so regularly. Always keep an eye on your cats. Yeah. Particularly if they're indoor and they're elderly because they don't do any scratching. Yeah. Um, oh, you. 
Yeah, cheeky monkey. Do you know, she's so good. Yeah. That'll be a relief. Isn't so. it? You're so good, you are. Yeah. But yeah. Right, so we're going to go onto the other tootsie and then I'll come back with a clean one of these and go again. Make sure we're all nice and hygienic for you. Hey. What a good girl. <laughs> so I've just come to do this claw. And the dew claw and the first two were fine on this foot, but it's the two outside ones. So she's a little bit arthritic with her joints. And we've just got to ease her foot up slowly. But you can see here, right, she's tender with this tootsie. And you'll know why when I show you. Can you see the claw? See this huge claw that's come right the way round? It's not in there, no. Oh, it is. It's you well in. Well in, yeah. And this one. Oh, dear. This one's, it's mm. just starting to go in, this one. Like walking on pins. Be horrible, won't it? I mm. know, baby. So, Auntie Nita's going to trim this one for you. So. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And then you just pull it out, do you? Yeah. Oh, I know. What a brave girl. Right, okay. That paw pad is actually all scabbed up. So it's been going in. There it is. Look at that big scab. Oh. Off the end of her toe there. That could get infected. We'll put some more stuff on in. Yeah, so I'm just going to trim that a little bit more. Just want to do the next one. Good girl, it's all right. It's not going to hurt now. It's not going to hurt now because we sorted it. How often should claws yeah. get done? Don't they? Um, the thing is, when you cut a cat's claws, they do have a bit of a spurt growth. Mm, yeah. So literally, each cat's individual. It's like us. How quickly do our nails? We're all different. How quickly do they grow back? So you have to keep an eye on your own cat. I mean, look at the length of that claw there. Yeah. You see it there, my hands. Yeah. Huge. And they just need a mill off, don't they? Uh, if you keep on top of them, you only need to take a couple of mill off every few yeah. weeks and just keep on top of them. Yeah. Oh, good girl. So should we do this last one? Come on then, let's just have a look at this one as well, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. This looks nasty too. Again, curled right the way round. Just get my fingers. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So again, that toe. Got a big scab on it. That's a little toe. Mm. Oh dear. Yeah, I know, baby. Yeah, I know. We're going to put some stuff on that and make it all better, aren't we? Mm. Hey? Ooh. Good girl. Oh, she'd be relieved. There you go. But you can see how thick, the, how wide the claws are. They are on the elderly cats, so you have to really watch them. So I'm going to say to mum and dad, Really keep an eye on these feet because we don't want this happening again. It's very, very painful. Yeah. Um, but what a little superstar. Do you know what? When you do that, many a cat absolutely explodes because it hurts. Yeah. She's a good girl. She's one brave girly. Yeah. So basically every two weeks or so. No, no, not you don't need that often, but no. um, I'd probably say every four to six weeks, okay, usually. But I mean, okay. it's a case of just keeping an eye on your own cat. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, she Ooh. says that's cold and it's stinging. <laughs> Is that stinging a little bit? A relief. Oh, happy good cat. girl. Ooh. Oh, it's not bleeding as much, is it? You didn't really need that collar on, did you? No. 
I just thought she might have a little nip with always doing that. What a good girl. So you're going to cut the other one a little bit more? Then? I'm going to trim some of the others down a bit more now. Yeah. I just wanted to get them out of their pad. Yeah. I know, baby. And then we can stop messing about and let you go back home, can't we? Hmm? And you can go and have a nice siesta. You can. These two claws were fine, they were like a normal claw, but these two were like almost deformed mm. and very, very mm. thick. What a good girl. There she is. Right, we're going to get another pad and we're going to clean that with a tootsie. And then we'll be finished. Okay. So here's this brave little girl. All claws are out of her tootsies. We've treated them all. She's had all the mats clipped away. Her tummy's been shaved away where she was matted. And I'm just finishing her off with this little Zoom groom. She's been such a sweetie. She really, really has. And uh, do you know what? I wish they were all this well behaved. Mate, eh, y'all? Yeah, tiny girly. She just spotted their mum and dad out the side. Oh, dad out <laughs> She just spotted them, haven't you? Come to collect her. And that's her all done. Such a little cat. There's such a, a little cat. There is a lot of hair there, isn't yeah. there? But yeah. do you know what? She has been such a little sweetie. Really well behaved. There's your mum and, and daddy. And there she is. All done. Say bye bye to oh, everybody. Bye bye, Ollie. Oh my God. Bye bye, Ollie. Hehehe <laughs>